Hey y'all, it's Megan. In today's video, I'm just gonna do a quick garden update. You know, I've done a lot of videos with us planting, doing different things, and I'm just gonna do a complete uh, kind of farm update. So I'm down here where we spread the hay on the tomato plants and where we planted our potatoes. So let me show y'all that. I'll walk over closer, but this is our potato crop here. It's looking great. They're blooming. Um, and then these are our tomatoes with the old wet hay spread around them. And I'm gonna tell y'all what, I have been very, very pleased with the results of this. If y'all hear a tractor, it's a tractor across from me over here mowing hay. That's what that is. But um, the tomatoes really took off and you'll see some flop like this. I just went through and tied them up again. It'll stand back up. But um, they really flourished. Like when we, after we put that hay out, like a couple days after that, man, they just come out. These ain't had no fertilizer on them and they are just as dark green as they can be. They look great. Um, this is buckwheat. It's just like a filler to give back to the land some here because we wanted some space in between here. We're trying to, this field right here ain't got a lot of life to it. So we're gonna try to change that. Sweet corn. This sweet corn down here all but drowned it where we're on bottom land. And then it turned around and got hot and dry. So we'll see if it makes anything. It don't look very impressive. You can tell where the wet spot is <laughs> and that all but like to have drowned it. Um, so we're gonna walk across our corn here. These are my sweet potatoes. They're not looking too shabby. So me and Andy, I'm gonna tell you something interesting real quick. Me and Andy were trying to figure out, these are red sweet potatoes and we were trying to figure out like what kind they were because the leaves look like they do. Um, come to find out, the only thing we could really find is there's some kind of old, old, old sweet potato variety that is grown in Appalachia. That's all we could find, we couldn't find a name or anything. So if you know what these are, let me know in the comments. Um, if you know the name of these, cause we would love to know. Makes good red sweet potatoes. We just don't know what they are. <laughs> it's some slips that we got off a woman, I don't know, here a few years back. And she don't know what they're called either. So, um, but yeah, row of sweet potatoes and then about a half a row over here beside of it. So all that's looking good. Let's wander over here. Oh, and lima beans. I don't know if you can see those. I got a few little lima beans coming up. I'm gonna walk you to the tater patch. So this goes to show you folks, you know, we don't know it all. We don't do, we don't have the biggest, beautiful gardens all the time, you know. Um, like I said, this is, your dirt has so much to do with it. I mean, how much work and how much organic matter that you put into the dirt. Me and Andy were doing some research. You always been taught forever to break land in the winter, leave it bare all winter, and then come back, smooth it out and plant it. Well, that we have come to find out uh, just from reading, it's one of the worst things you can do because plants put, uh, soak in the, I believe it's the carbon from the air and put it back in the ground, make you have rich dirt. So the worst thing for your dirt is leaving it bare. Uh, always always have something on it whether it be just a quick cover crop just something you just need something on it all right we're about over here in our tatas so they ain't right quite ready to get up like i said they are uh blooming and actually starting to die back a little we go ahead and let the vines get completely dead uh, looks like the deer have been out here munching on them down here on the end. I think that's something. But hopefully that won't hurt our potato crop because they just nibbled on them a little bit. But all the way as far as you can see there is our potatoes. So that's what we've got planted down here. I've got some few seeds, squash, cucumbers, crowder peas that ain't come up yet. So really nothing to show you there down here. Um, 
So let's head to the next stop. All right, so we're back here at the garden at the house. I'm gonna do you a little walk through and show you how good everything's doing. This is kind of our baby. This is the garden that we take care of the most and the best, which we do have access to water here, whereas the other gardens we don't. Um, so that helps. So we, you know, if it starts getting too dry, we'll run the sprinkler out here. So let's show you what all we got going on. <laughs> Corn's coming in. We've actually got something this year that I haven't seen before. Now, I don't know if they'll all make something, um, but this right here is making one, two, three ears of corn right now. I hadn't had one do that. Um, we did plant our sweet corn a little more spaced out this year. This is Honey Select corn. And that really did help. Let me show you the stalks on some of this stuff. I mean, see how big that is? On sweet corn, that's a big stalk, at least bigger than what we normally have. Um, just see how wide these are? They look really good. Look real, real good. Um, up here at the front, gets the most sun then on towards the back it gets a little smaller back there so you can tell where most of the sun is now the tomatoes a lot of them are a little overhead high to me so this florida weave this is the first year we've done that and it's really holding them up good i'll be interested to see once they start getting some higher up tomatoes how good they stand up um but all of them are loaded We've been fighting with a little blight. That's what this is. So if you see that on your tomato plants, that's a that's a blight. Um, if your plants are healthy, a lot of times they'll outgrow it. If they're not healthy, it can kill them. But I got, hopefully we'll have some red tomatoes before long and I am ready for a tomato sandwich. They just look um, real tickled with how they look this year. Just about all of them had that blight, so most of them have really come out of it good. See my little, this corn is like a little behind back here on the back end. Then that up there where we were. Just cause this, this don't get the sun like that up there in the front. These right here. We call them October beans. Technical name for them is like Tapazio or something like that. We always call them October beans. Hopefully be getting some beans before long. Got these nice shells on them. I can feel the little beans in there, but of course they ain't big enough to get a mess off of or anything yet. Fingerling potatoes. They're out here cooking. You can tell they're a little hot. A little bit wilted, but uh, first year planting fangolin potatoes. I'm interested to try those. I mean, I've eat them from like restaurants and stuff, but we planted our own this year. Then I got a few little herbs <coughs> squeezed in right here. That's some oregano and some basil. Now, one thing I'm going to tell you while we're out here at the basil, see how it's in this big, pretty bush. One way to get it to keep growing is when you see seed heads, let me see if I find any in here, or like the flowers, uh, I try to keep them picked off because when they start flowering, they'll like stop growing because they're putting out their seeds. So I keep the, whenever I see a flower shoot come up, I just pick it right off. The cucumbers are beautiful down through here. It's like cucumber lane. Um, Y'all saw this kind of on my dill pickle video, but I've been real pleased with having these staked up. You have to kind of keep them trained. So to do that, like this one right here is what we lay down. You just kind of put it up there so it knows it's supposed to climb that way. And I'll take these little runners sometimes. It'll make them stay. And so you kind of have to train them to climb up this stuff. But once they get a hold of it, they usually do 
pretty good. But they are looking, looking great. They're also head high. So if y'all can't figure out from my videos, I am a little vertically challenged. People like to give me a hard time about that. All right, I got some onions. I got a pool right here eventually, which they're not hurting nothing in the ground. They're not seeding out. I had a couple that did, I broke off, but um, they ain't hurting nothing, but I need to get out here and pull them. Of course, my deal everywhere. I got a little more broccoli to pick. It's looking good. I've got a fridge full. I think I'll make a broccoli casserole tonight. I'll be the only one that eats it, but oh well. English peas, they're starting to die off. They hate it when it's hot. But I've got a few good little mess of peas off these few little plants right here. I got some more on there to pick right now, I see. The lettuce has been long gone. It shot up these uh, shoots like this. I'm just slowly pulling it up and splitting it between the goat and the chickens. It's a nice treat for them on a hot day. I got a big pretty sunflower way up there. Grapevines. Got a few little grapes. These were big and we cut them back to make them run along this fence. So um, over time they'll, they'll grow back like they were because they were huge. My poor little cabbage, you know, we can't grow a cabbage head for nothing. That's a decent one, but the middle of it's eat up with bugs. The parasite load, as far as bugs go, have been awful this year. And these are a few of my pepper plants. Starting to get some peppers on there. That's an okra. And y'all look at this though. My little eggplant. Remember from a previous video, they were like, eat, slap up. Well, I didn't put nothing on these things. I was just letting the bugs have them and they've come on out of it. So I might get to try eggplant yet. We'll see, because they've been blooming. I thought I had a baby eggplant on one of these. Is that what that is? I think that's a baby eggplant up in there, maybe. I have got oh, a squash to pick. Got two squash plants up, up here in this garden. Just enough to kind of do me in my kitchen. All right, we're back up here on this hillside. If y'all remember from a few videos back, I showed y'all this hillside we were planting. Everything's looking good. Look at my baka. And these are all blackberries. But all that's looking good. Come down here and show you the stuff we planted. So pretty much everything's come up on the hillside that we planted, but we did have to end up watering it. We were really hoping we wasn't gonna have to, but we just added it up and we planted this 18 days ago and it ain't rained since. So it ain't rained in at least 18 days, if not longer than that. So this one looks like a little iffy. I don't know what happened to that guy, but everything's coming up pretty good. Looking real good. So I'm interested to see. We ain't had to worry about it washing because it ain't rained. <laughs>
the next garden. This is down on our creek bottom. Just checking everything to see if it needs to be picked. Doing pretty well down here. This about got drowned in a, here a while back too, and now it's hot and dry. So you can see a few of our little squash plants did suffer. I don't know if they're gonna make it. <laughs> All right, these is, this is my green bean patch over here. It's looking pretty good. We've had a few deer issues did to end up putting back up the electric fence and these are this is a row of crowner peas right here i don't think i got no little peas on them yet though because i ain't even seen no blooms but i'll show you the green beans here they won't be ready to pick here in just a hot minute so yep have my work cut out for me there that's some more sweet corn we've got planted down across through there. So I'm just gonna wander over here, see if I got anything to pick. Now, y'all see these vines coming out of this corn? These are volunteer cucumbers that come up from last year. So we just left them. They got blooms on them. Don't know what they're gonna be. They got cucumber vines everywhere. And they got baby cucumbers on them. So I'll be interested to see what, what kind they are or what they look like. Um, but down there where you see the kids and Andy standing, I believe that's another cucumber vine there. So we're gonna check and see if we got anything to get here. These zucchini plants are looking fabulous I do want to show y'all something cool while I'm down here though I got something called patty pan squash some of y'all might be familiar with it but look at this if I can find one they're so crazy looking look I ain't never planted none of them before so this is the first year for that So guys, I don't know about y'all, but we're praying for rain down here. We was praying for it to stop. Had 10 inches in a week. Well, that's all we've had, and that was about a month ago. So we're praying for rain. Look, this right here, this is that big cucumber plant. It is plum full. Look at there. Got cucumbers all over it. Oh, me. Look at there. Look at all that squash. Been keeping this garden picked every day. Got about a half a five gallon bucket of squash and zucchini. So, I made some squash zucchini pickles. I've never tried those before. Um, I didn't do a video that day, but if you've ever tried squash or zucchini pickles, let me know in the comments how they taste. Um, I'm excited to try them. I haven't found a good way to preserve squash or zucchini, so, We'll see how that works. So this down here, we're down at the Hickory King corn that you saw us plant here a while back. This is Andy's baby up here, so I'm gonna let him kind of walk you around and show you a little bit of this. All right, well, she said we're at the Hickory King. It's more than just Hickory King. This, this is Jimmy Red, that's some Indian corn, and that up there is the Hickory King at the very top. But uh, come over here and look at how big this stalk is. It's all really supposed to look like this, but like she told you earlier, we had a bunch of rain and then no rain. And so this is, we've had maybe a, a few sprinkles or a few small showers in the past month. I that is a big stalk. But that, down here, I can barely wrap my fingers around that, the base of that corn. And that, like I said, every one of these should look like that, but they don't right now. And then this is our, cover crop in between our rows here this is buckwheat which, i think it's had about two tenths of rain on it and that's it and it's doing it's really doing amazing for no more rain than it's had and then we've got a couple rows of watermelons here well, we've got one row of watermelons and then we've got another space where we've got a cover crop and the purpose of the cover crops y'all is to uh you really want to try to keep your soil covered at all times you know obviously except where you're growing your crop but 
you don't want that soil just out there exposed to where it can wash away or whatever. Plus the cover crops, um, once they get up so high and getting, when their seed gets to like the milk stage where you can squish it and it's still soft before it gets hard, take and till all this back in and you add all that organic matter back to your soil. And that's our goal here is to get this field built up better than what it is because it was we pretty much stripped it when we cleared it off but there's some more watermelons and we've got some ornamental pumpkins out there no ornamental gourds and we've got more some, watermelons, some more there. watermelons and some squash i think to be honest with you i can't remember what i was planted in this row <laughs> i guess we'll just have to see when uh when, when it comes when, when it comes in right then Here's what we always call the Indian corn, the Indian flower corn, which is like a multicolored cob of corn. Uh, most people use it for decoration, um, but you can actually grind it for flour too, I mean for a cornmeal. But uh, this is probably the worst of all of it. It's been real short, and I've even seen, we've already got one starting to tassel out over here. And that's not a good sign with it tasseling out that short. It, it, it should have got up here before it started tasseling out. Like my corn. So I'm not too sure about the, uh, I mean, honestly, I'm not too sure about all of it. I, I'm sure we'll get something off of it, but the, the, the extreme heat we've had in the dry weather is really not good on it at all. And we got no way at all of irrigating this. Um, if you can see, Megan, show them out that road right there. You can see just how short and how yellow that uh that top row is right there i mean it needs water bad this is another cover crop here this is some soybeans that we planted in here and then this is the hickory king pond and it looks really good too it's got some massive stalks on it as well they're about like that right now but so they're not quite as big as some of that jimmy red down there but it's getting there. So if, if we could get a good shower of rain on this right now, we, we would have it. We'd be in good shape, but it's not looking too promising. Here's the sunflowers. And it amazes me. Like literally y'all in the mornings when the sun comes up, these things will turn and they follow the sun through the sky the whole day. And you can see right now, every one of them is turned towards the sun. It's amazing to me what sunflowers do. But anyways, that's, that's pretty much it on this garden. Like, It'd be nice if those clouds right there dropped us a little rain. Yeah, it would. <laughs> but I don't know, y'all. We'll get rain eventually, I guess, but it may be too late when we actually get it. This is some more land that we cleared. It's right across the road from the garden we were just at, and all this is soybeans. That the deer eat. That the deer have, yeah, tore up. But it's a cover crop to get back to the land so we weren't just leaving it bare because it was too late to sow grass, so. But we actually sowed grass in that, and from what I can see, it looks like the grass is actually doing pretty good, and it was fairly late when we sowed it. There's a tree down. to the house just going around the back way of our land here how many of y'all can tell me what that is if you can identify that y'all leave it in the comments you watched my previous garden update you'll know that we almost lost several of our plants because we messed up on how we did the dirt in our raised beds we didn't let the compost sit long enough and decompose so it was pretty much like pure mud that was in here so we did take our dirt that we had gotten out of the chicken coop we took that and mixed it in with the manure and everything, and the plants have come out 
I mean, just great. So let's look at these raised beds. All right, so our strawberries look way, way, way better, which of course I ain't gonna be getting no strawberries Mama. probably till next year. Mm. Yeah. And yeah. we ended up planting some sweet potatoes in yeah. here. They look great. Those were, the, where, those, those were the spots where the old strawberries were. That's right, because we had a bunch of strawberries that died, so we just replaced them with sweet potatoes. Um, string beans or pole beans, they're looking good. <laughs> looking real good. I'll be excited to get some beans soon. You just have to train them to their little trellis. So I'm going to take that little wow. guy and show him he's supposed to climb up right there. And then more pole beans. So of course these will cross pollinate. These these two right here are the same, but these are a different variety. So if I save the seeds from them, they won't be true, but I still might save some anyway, see what I get next year. Pepper plants are finally coming out. They got stunted from our mistake with that dirt. And uh thank you. So, but they are finally trying, trying, trying to grow. And we've been picking the peppers off of these oh. smaller plants. Like when they're really small, when we see peppers trying to give the plants ch a chance to catch up. So they finally caught up. So I guess I'm going to allow them to start growing some peppers now. You want to know how you can tell the difference between a sweet banana and a hot banana? That's a sweet banana. See how it's growing down. That's a hot banana. No, I don't see the difference. One's growing up, one's growing down. Uh, one's so one. those look good. I have got more onions down oh, here I need to pull. One pepper's growing up, one pepper's growing down. That's right. Yeah. I have more sweet potato slips that we'll probably plant somewhere. <laughs> um, yes, and I've got to pull these onions in the next couple of days, so I plan on doing that. And then... This bed, um, this is my blackberry. Apparently it loves the raised bed and so does Deal. My Deal. And these are some zinnias. This is a volunteer tomato. This is all one tomato plant. I don't know if y'all can tell how big that is, but it's like, I don't think it's a cherry tomato. It come up um, out of some herb seeds I played last year. This is like, they're little, they're a lot smaller than cherry tomatoes, but that's about how big they get when they start turning red. Here you go. This is good and so, I don't know what that one's called. Um, here's my corn, um, it's tasseling, and um, uh, here's some cucumbers. Um, I don't know, and this is popcorn. Mm-hmm. And over here, oh, these are, I didn't realize these big tomatoes. They're growing, ain't they? Mama. Yeah. Well, he he's Mama. on my like, better boys. I have one cherry tomato back there behind my corn. And that's on the Yep, this is Jacob's beautiful garden that has like is like completely organic, ain't had no fertilizer on it or nothing. It's up and has chicken poop. Well, you know besides the chicken poop, that's right. And y'all look how beautiful this is. His corn is like a dark green. I don't know, it looks great. Everything looks great. There you go. You got any baby cucumbers in there? I don't know. I haven't looked. I have a lot of flowers. All right. But I don't have any. I don't see any baby cucumbers. Let me keep looking. So none yet, huh? And... Oh, my! Look what I found! What? What did you find, honey? What's under the... Oh, you found one. I don't think he's quite ready yet. Yeah. We have to let him keep growing for... For a few days. I just want to bring you down here and show you these beautiful peaches real quick too. Tom. This is the peach tree that we've never got peaches off of. Looks like a bug I believe got in that one. But the rest of them look pretty good that I've seen, mm -hmm. that I can see. These darn things right here, June bugs. That's what I call them anyway. What do you call them June bugs? I guess because they come out in June. <laughs> I, saw, I thought they were June bugs, not June bugs. But yeah, hopefully these will probably be ready to eat for long. So One, we're excited two, about these. Three. All right, so last but not least, I'll show you my little pots down through here. 
these are those strawberries that we planted from the little packs at Track Supply, if you remember from my planting onion sets video. That's just a potted tomato. It looks a little rough. I ain't sure what happened to it. Cabbage plants. They're trying to make a head. We'll see if they do anything. I don't know. I'm about to lose faith in these. They got big, pretty plants, but they ain't made much. And it's probably because we put too many in a pot. And that's a tater growing up through there. And we're pretty proud of these right here. These pepper plants. They are absolutely beautiful. We decided to do three pepper plant plants in a pot. So that one right there is a poblano. And then this is a bell pepper plant. And a little tiny jalapeno right there. But apparently peppers really, really like pots. Because these are the biggest pepper plants we've ever had, I think. Like it, Well, like this early on. And then one more tomato plant. And then... Got a little comfrey coming up right there. You don't know anything about comfrey? I suggest you do your research. It's got a lot of benefits for yourself, your plants, your land. Um, and we're excited to add comfrey here to our home. So anyways, that's all I got for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you learned a little something maybe uh, along the way. I just kind of wanted to show y'all how everything's looking and we're tickled with most of it you know but nothing is always as perfect as it seems in the world of social media that's why i want to be completely honest with you here and show you our mistakes and just like our corn down that one section of corn i showed you that's real pitiful so um you know you're always learning with garden gardening gardening is trial and error always no matter how long you've been doing it so anyways Remember, waste not, won't not, and take care of yourself, and I'll talk to y'all next time. Here's your quick sneak peek of my squash and zucchini pickles, if that intrigued you at all.